It's swearing-in day for Gwen Gittins. But before she goes to the Lee County Public Education Center, she had one stop to make. Well, before her hair appointment. You're asleep during first block. You're sort of awake during second. This is third. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> that stop? Dunbar High School. It's Brain Bowl Day for students in Miss Molly's African American history class. And Miss Gittens was not about to miss it. I taught for 13 years. And when you teach, you, it's, it's like you need that pill every now and then of going in the classroom. And while they're learning about their community's African American history, Miss Gittens is making it. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. One hundred and twenty-nine years. It's the first time that Lee County has ever had a person of color serve on its school board, and she hopes with this new role, she can offer a different perspective. It hurts you to your core to see things happen to children. And hopefully I'll be able to explain that when we're deciding where we're going to put this school or where we're going, how we're going to do this. Gittins tells us impacting local children means increased parent involvement, a more transparent school board, and encouragement. Every child wants you to look at them and say, oh, good job or pat you on the back, or next time you'll get it. And that is from the little ones up to the ones that you're looking up to. Good job, <laughs> okay. Her job is nothing she takes lightly. The first thing that comes to mind is sitting in that chair and looking out into the audience or looking at the camera and knowing that there's some child out there that's brown or black or whatever that hasn't ever seen anyone that looks like them sitting up there. And the responsibility of that is just um, immense. Some say this swearing in is long overdue. It's been 129 years, way, way, way too long. But she says? Everything happens when it's time.